Hey, I'm Nick Boy, and welcome to Pocket. Now, do you want to go back to high school? No, of course you don't, because it was terrible. But we have to. This is Cheats for Hire. Cheats for Hire is a new school-based strategy RPG. It's out on mobile and PC. So let's dive in and get schooled. Oh, yeah. Yeah! Oh, I froze it. Hang on. Wait. Oh, it's like that terrible rock band guitar hero demo. Right, that's enough reminiscing about my times as a groupie in high school. Well done, Cheats for Hire. I had no expectations, and you blew them away. Let's hope this continues. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> How is it total silence? You blew all your money on the splash screen. Uh, okay, ready when you are, Joseph. Poor Carl asked us to te help him with his music test. The teacher is, let me see, Mr. Sloan. Mr. Sloan, he is so easily distracted. Huh, this is gonna be a piece of cake. We're back! <laughs> Why? You've just made the silence far more glaring. <laughs> by wedging it between two sick riffs. Welcome to Travian High School. Our attempts at cheating haven't gone unnoticed. Oh no. One of your fellow students has an offer to make you guys. Click on the offer. If you're ready, accept the offer and help that poor fellow. Cool. So this is basically XCOM in high school. There is Carl, our client. For starters, we place our team. There's Carl. Pathetic Carl. Click on an empty desk to make the team selection. Sure, I don't know who any of these people are. Place all your cheaters on the empty desk. The nerd should sit as close to the client as possible. Nerd, there you go. Okay, who's next? Ashley, sure, you go there. And who are you? I'm gonna call you Buckwheat. Uh, when we finish your preparations, click start to begin the test. Done. Help, says Carl. He's telling us the answers he needs. Okay, he needs four orange answers. Uh, fine, bring him the answers. None of the students are willing to help us right now, you bastards. Lucky for us, the cheerleader is part of our team. She can persuade students to help us. Okay, so I move her in front of the desk. Click on the cheerleader to access her skills. Ah, she's gonna rip that heart out. Now I click on the student to start persuading. I'm very uncomfortable with all of this. Uh, great, the student has agreed to help us for a short time. Okay. Uh, thanks, student. Now move you back to her desk. Now the nerd can copy the answers from that student. Why is the nerd copying? First of all, yeah, the nerd. Yeah, look at him, he's really nerdy. He's wearing the bow tie, lots of cliches here. But why is the nerd copying the answers? Shouldn't the nerd have the answers? Isn't that what nerds are? Lame, lame game, whatever. Move the nerd next to the student and use his skill copy. Come on, nerdy. Yeah. All right, so he's copying. He's copying the answers. Still don't understand why the nerd doesn't know the answers, but whatever, I'm moving on. Excellent, as you can see, the nerd has copied the required answers. The nerd. Put him back in his chair. Okay. Select his skill to pass notes. Yeah, the answers have reached the client. Only persuaded students can pass the answers. Right, so I persuaded her, that means that she's gonna help us cheat. But the client also has problems with another part of the test. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, just read the book. Watch out, the teacher starts moving. Look at him, look at him saunter. Those are huge steps for someone moving that slowly. He will try to stop our cheating. Yeah, he's such a lame brain. But don't worry, the jock can take care of it. Master of distraction, Brett. Of course he's called Brett. Brett has a habit for causing all sorts of distractions. This comes in handy when a teacher is too nosy. Distractions can save our asses. Use his spitball to distract the teacher. That doesn't look like a spitball, that looks like a painful dart. Teamwork is the key to successful cheating. The cheerleader persuades the students first, nerd copies the answers, jock distracts them. Okay, so we've got like a little team of people, uh, each with their specialized abilities, all revolving around helping this lazy bastard pass a class. Why do we even care? He better be paying us. What do I do? Cheerleader. All right, Ashley, I feel disgusting saying this, but do your thing. 
Yeah. Saunt it, baby. You want to get paid, don't you? Blue answers. Ashley goes back to her seat. I can't believe the teacher. The teacher's field of view is atrocious. Atrocious. He only sees that far? These students are wandering around the entire classroom. Why is he not teaching? This is why you're not passing. Nerd. It's your time to shine. So I seem to not have any... It's not turn-based or anything. It seems to be sort of real-time. Uh, okay, nerdy. Copy those answers. That nerd is actually dressed pretty well. He's like a Mumford son. Now, I need to pass the answers. Are you still persuaded? Yes, you are! There's your answers. <laughs> Nipple guitar. Uh, grade A+. Plus. Climb past, detected zero times, needed time, zero. Oh yeah, I had a time limit. The others have been right. You're absolutely brilliant. Keep it up. Money. A hundred and thirty-one dollars. A hundred and thirty-one dollars? Screw this job. I'm gonna go work at a high school and cheat for kids. Congratulations, you have passed the admission exam for prospective cheaters with flying colors and have shown some enormous cheat capabilities. This game is teaching some very questionable morals. As you can see, there are already new cries for our help. Okay, cool, here we go. Let's get into it. Uh, let's just do a hard one. Mine must pass the exam, five and a half minutes. Hearing aid, chance to improve hearing. Oh, there's a teacher's pet. Interesting. Let's figure out how this goes. These are called teacher's pets. They try to catch cheaters and report them to the teacher. Boo! Boo! We don't like people who uphold law and order. Boo! Distracted teacher's pets cannot detect cheaters. Ah, oh, this is gonna turn child on child. Okay, so that is cheats for hire. There's, there's not a lot of depth there. You know, I've played a few levels and at the moment it's it's literally just the same thing every single time. Uh, obviously, as you go on, you're probably getting more teacher's pets and more stress points, but at the moment the only stress point is that timer and it's really not even that much of a stress point. Well, I was beating it even while I'm chatting and making wisecracks about that nerdy kid. It definitely feels like it's more at home on a tablet or a phone. It feels like a mobile game. On PC, it just kind of makes you aware that it doesn't have that much depth because you're sitting there going, in these sorts of games, I'm usually doing much more stuff. That being said, it is very polished and very smooth, except for the weird silence uh, during the cutscenes. But it's polished in the same way that you can polish a rock. You know, it looks nice and it kind of doesn't have any rough edges, but at the end of the day, it's just a rock and there's not much you could do with it. And like that rock, I suggest you buy 40 copies of this game and just put them in a bowl on your dining room table and when people come over, they'll go, oh, that's a very nice polished rock. And speaking of rock. <laughs> I killed it. The Sims, that looks like more fun. <laughs>